overnight, the Westmore campaign says the candidate paid a $21,000 water bill after a report that the last water payment for his Baltimore home was more than a year and a half ago. This news comes just weeks before the election, with more polling ahead of his Republican challenger. WJZ is live. Avajoy Burnett has more from the campaign and the questions that's been asking city officials. Avajoy. Hi, Nikki. Well, details about this $21,000 water bill came out just before 7 last night. And within four hours, we got word from the Westmore campaign that Westmore, along with his wife, Don Moore, have paid off that $21,000 bill while they wait to figure out if it's accurate or not. But we asked the city officials today a bunch of questions, including how could something like this happen? Also wasn't very, Less very than five weeks the before the general election, Wes Moore, the Democratic nominee for governor, is dealing with a personal issue that's made the news. City records show that the water bill at Moore's Baltimore home was $21,200.26, and the last payment of $2,000 was on March 31st of last year. The Baltimore Brew was first to report the story, and within hours of the article, the spokesperson for the Moore campaign revealed that the Moores have paid the current balance out of an abundance of caution while they review the accuracy of the charges. This isn't the first time that the city has dealt with high-profile unpaid water bills. In 2019, it was revealed that the Ritz-Carlton apartments on the waterfront of Fed Hill hadn't gotten a water bill in over a decade after a new meter was installed. That tab was $2.3 million. Jack Young, the mayor back then, said he was outraged to learn of the oversight. Citizens have also complained for years about the inconsistent with the billing system. WJZ contacted the Department of Public Works with a list of questions, including what circumstances would allow a resident to have a $21,000 delinquent water bill. We're waiting for a response. A recent Goucher College poll says Moore is polling about 20 points ahead of his Republican opponent, Dan Cox. WJZ spoke with Malia Cromer, a political scientist at Goucher. Again, no campaign wants uh, this sort of story to come out uh, in advance of the election, but the fact that uh, I think for the most part that it was paid almost immediately and the campaign seems ready to move on almost immediately from it. Uh, they're going to refocus, and I believe voters are the most focused on issues that really affect their day to day. And within the last 10 minutes ago or so, we received an email from city officials, especially for that question about how could it be that any resident would mount up a $21,000 water bill. Officials said that DPW does not comment on specific bills, but they did tell us that earlier this year they got, they contracted a company that will help them recoup some of the money from many bills here in the city that have not been paid. Live tonight, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.